Hi, I'm Tony Cole and I'm one of the coaches from Think and Grow Business. I've just come back from a trip to the United States of America, partly business, mostly holiday. And an, uh, we had an amazing time. But I want to talk about Times Square because to me, Times Square is this myriad of emotions. Now, it was not the first time that I've been to Times Square. Every time we go to America, we end up in Times Square for at least some of the time. And to me, it's, it's this real melting pot of society and you see this whole plethora of emotions. You see those people that are there for the first time and they're really excited and you can see that in their eyes and they're beaming and they're just mesmerized by, by the magic of what Times Square is. But you also see the other ranges of emotions. You see frustration. You see loneliness. In one of the busiest places in the world, you see lonely people. You see people that are disillusioned with life and Times Square has become part of their daily drudgery. These are some of the things that you see. You see people who've, who've lost hope. Um, you see people that are in a hurry. But the one emotion that really stood out to me was the, the emotion of persistence. Because when you're in Times Square, you are bombarded by messages. There's, there's the obvious neon lighting. There's um, messages being portrayed everywhere. And you've got these promoters on the street, these touters that are, you know, whether they're selling a Broadway show or a bus tour of, the, of New York, they're just out there and they're in your face and they're giving you, giving stuff everywhere. And the power of persistence is what I saw with them because as we get bombarded with messages, we start to tune out and we start to ignore what's happening around us. So most of these touters or most of these promoters or most of these sellers or roadside vendors were basically ignored. Now, I don't know about you, when your message is being ignored, it's really hard to maintain enthusiasm. But I'm guessing that, and, and obviously they're commission-based, so there is a need for them to continue to show enthusiasm and continue to deliver the messages that they deliver. And, I, and I'm guessing that maybe their success rate is about two in a hundred, maybe. Two in a hundred people might take the brochure that they're offering uh, or that's being thrust into them. So 2% success rate. But can I tell you, 2% success rate is better than 0% success rate. And maybe, maybe others might have given up after being ignored by so many. But a 2% success rate can turn into a 3% success rate, and a 3% success rate can turn into a 4% success rate because the power of persistence. And that is one of the truly great emotions that I did see while I was in Times Square. The persistence of the roadside vendors, the persistence of the touters, as they were endeavouring to make sure that their message got heard. So where in your business can you provide more persistence, where you can provide more resilience, where you can get tougher and stronger in what you deliver, in the message that you send, in the customers that you chase, and in the customers that you keep? Where in your business can you deliver better persistence? My name's Tony Curl. I'm one of the coaches at Think and Grow Business. Check it out at uh, tagb.com.au. I look forward to talking to you again real soon.